All right, man, we back with another a whoopty whoop, a little whoopty wop, some whoopty bam. The locker code is back. The Hall of Fame pass locker code is back, low key. I just saw someone put it in. I just saw it work. I'm not about to tell you what the code is. Nope. I'm not about to tell you that. I'm not going to tell you the code because I don't think I don't think it's I don't think that it's supposed to be out. If it was supposed to be out, it would have been advertised on on the Twitter, on the matter of fact, let's go to the Twitter and see if it's there. All right. All right. This is the my team account. The my team account does not. I don't see it posted on the my team account. Wesley Parsons agenda. Um, Path to all star mobile exclusive agendas. Jeremy Lin's Lunar New Year a code. Go put that in because that's what we about to talk about in a second. Hey, I went ahead and I got bro upgraded. Lunar New Year is live. Um, mm, nah, I don't see anything about. They haven't posted on a my team page. Let's see if they posted on a on the other 2K page though. Okay, and here we are Kobe. on the 2K page itself. I don't. I don't I don't see I don't see it. I see mobile exclusive agenda with a Halliburton card. I see the theater events for the week. No, I don't see anything that says anything about a free a hall pass. They got the new the Lunar New Year gear for double rep. I think that happened the other day or yesterday or something. Yeah, I don't see anything about a locker code. There go Kobe. Yes, sir. I don't see anything about a free Hall of Fame pass, bro. And it's just that seems like the type of thing that they would tell you. I don't I don't want to say I mean, I don't want to discourage y'all from using it, but I don't want to encourage you to use it. So seeing as how I don't see it anywhere on their open page. I don't think that they really want that to be out there and seeing as how they did nip that in the bud the first time it was out. I don't know, bruh. I don't know. I just don't know. Don't know if y'all should be using that joint. I mean, I just I had to say it is out here. It is out here. It's, it's here. I mean, I can't deny that the code is a thing. I just saw somebody put it in. And they got through. I watched them get the whole, the whole shebang, the Hall of Fame pass off of it. I watched them live. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna tell you to do it, but I'm not about to tell you not to do it. So I don't know. At your own risk, pretty much. That's a at your own risk type of thing. We got Jeremy Lin right here, but other than that, we picked up this Luca. I'm trying to figure out what shoe to put on Luca right now. I think I want to throw. I think I want to, I know I'm throwing a three pointer on him, even a 99 three pointer. I might want to go ball handle his, mm, his acceleration speed with ball speed is kind of low. So I don't know if he's going, I mean, he could benefit from the acceleration speed with ball speed, but I don't have any acceleration cards. So I might just go drive and lay up. I might go three point shot. I don't know. I'm not sure right now with that. His driving dunk is low, so it, I don't see. We could go pass accuracy, ball handle, pass IQ. I don't know if I have any point fours of those, though, so I don't know right now. I'm, I'm still trying to figure him out. Badge-wise, I haven't even looked at the badges, but um, off glance, I could say I don't care about these badges like that. Maybe... uh. I don't know. I've been saving my badges low key. We might be able to put the off ball pest on him. Yeah, I do have I got four of those. I got one silver though. I'm gonna need more badges, bro. I need badges. Um maybe this brick wall. I mean this uh this this pig dodger. I mean I can't say for sure. I can't really say for sure. Luca though, I wanna really see what he can do. I like his jump shot. I played one game with him. I like the jump shot. I got this joint up too. We got bro up. The evolutionary Jermaine O'Neal, we got bro up there. I had to put his rebounding up after he, after I thought, I mean, I looked around. His jumper kind of sketchy, so I put his, you know, I put the three-point shot up all the time anyway. That's the one I think 
that's my most important badge. I mean, my most important upgrade, three point plus four, plus four to three point. Uh, post control and post fade, because that was his bag. If y'all don't know Jermaine O'Neal, that was his bag. Kobe. He was a post fade demon. He was a post control demon. Uh, not so much on the hook, but he could throw the hook. But pretty much close shot, post control, post fade. And he would hit them three pointers, boom, bang. So I could, I can be asking for an upgrade to this card. I could, I would like to see a pink diamond. This is the pink diamond. I would like to see a galaxy opal, maybe even a dark matter later down the line, depending on what 2K is doing and what they're trying to go into. But here go this Jeremy Lin. I don't like the card. I like the card art. I don't like the card art. I don't like the, the, the um, rendering of his actual person either. I would like for him to be scanned, face scanned, because that just looks like a generic Asian guy. That doesn't look like Jeremy Lin to me. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. But I did get him upgraded. Let me show you what it takes to upgrade him first. All right. First of all, to upgrade Jeremy Lin, you're going to need to lock in the the card first lunar new year jeremy lynn in order to get the card put that locker code in and then you got to play eight minutes with bro you got to have him on the floor for eight minutes make eight dunks make eight three-pointers make eight assists and then evolve him that's all you got to do he just needs eight assists eight three-pointers eight dunks eight minutes and then you can evo bro and um it's worth it it's worth it and then put put the uh the lunar new year basketball into play with so that you can crack that open too that's one of those that's one of those joints that you have to uh open so yeah that's how you get bro and then when it came to the actual the actual card that player um the only thing i really gave him i put slithery on him i put slithery on gold i mean slippery off ball on gold I don't know why I just did that. I don't know. Matter of fact, I know why. I thought it was slithery. I was actually Putin and I thought it was slithery. But um, as far as his shoe, you got a glimpse of it earlier. I put I put him in the white, the white 11s. You know what I'm saying? Um, His mid-range shot, 99. I boosted the mid-range. I boosted the three-pointer. Ball handle, speed with ball, and acceleration. So, I mean, I like it. I like it that way. That's that's what I've just figured out to come up with. I was thinking go with stamina instead of acceleration. Um, I also was thinking going with driving layup, maybe instead of speed with ball or acceleration. But I'm happy with what I did. I, I kind of like the jumper. We can jump into a game with bro real quick if y'all want to. The biggest thing is I don't know. Kobe. I don't know what kind of shoe I want to put on Luca. I would really like to put a shoe on Luca that. You know, benefit him the most. The thing is, I don't have any acceleration boost. I need, I need, oh, I need diamond acceleration boost. You know what I'm saying? But this is what bro here is capable of. He had a little sig on him. You know, he gets to the thing, good passing. I mean, it's just, it's healthy. He's a healthy card. When you get him up to the pink diamond level, it's really healthy. And then when you put that shoe boost on him, it's, it's really kind of hit or miss depending on what boost you put on. But um, I'm not afraid, you know what I mean? I'm not afraid to floor him. I'm, I will actually use him in multiplayer. I really want to get him on a multiplayer. Look at that acceleration. Oh, you got to foul me. You have to foul me, sir. Kobe. It's just like that sometimes. But I mean, that's what it is. Let me show you his jump shot. It's kind of fluid. Then I'll show you Luca's jumper. Look at the, do you see the jerseys though? Don't I do it? It's kind of slow. There's a little hitch to it. Luca got up on that rebound. Crash the boards then. Luca, what are you doing? You're going to hurt somebody. You're going to hurt yourself. What's he, what you doing, player? Choo choo. We got one up. Money. That's water. You know what it is. Okay, so you can see his little left right game is solid. Jeremy Lin's left right game, pretty solid. He He's, he's capable. I'm going to put it like that. I, I don't want to say he's better than Luca, but we would have to put them side by side to really see. Look at Luca's sigs are solid. Those are crispy. I like to call that pick and roll. And then boom. Only thing with Luca is his jumper got a little, it's a little, I don't know. I want to call it like a little hitch or like a little, it's a little stagnant. I don't know. The release is funny though. 
It's a real fun release. But he's definitely going to be a fun card to floor and see what he can do in multiplayer. That's all I'm waiting on is really the, I haven't gotten into a multiplayer game. I'm still trying to get these. Uh, I'm still trying to get these games out the way for Larry Bird. So, yeah, I mean, just on the initial release, it starts off kind of slow, but it's not that bad. Be the beginning of the jump shot is kind of like the first time you shoot it, you'd be like, oh, no, OK. I'm gonna have to remember that he feels a little sluggish in the beginning of his jumper. Yeah, but once you get used to it, you out here with him. Yeah, just like that. All right, let me let me get into some. Yeah, let me get into some Jermaine O'Neal display though. Like this guy is not to be played. When you see his acceleration, I'm by him. I'm at the bucket. I'm post moving into the bucket. Like it's it's not it's not hard to tell, bro. Like, and he has a very sketchy three point shot. So I like to get in inside close shots with bro. Maybe mid ranges. I really like to like this is my favorite thing to do with Buddy. I'm not gonna lie. Boom. Ah, just like that. It's easy from that mid range. Just from that little. That little low box, it's easy to really get into position and and get right with bro. Oh wait, that was a bucket bucket. Good. Hey, good way, bro. Let me show you what else I like to do with bro. We call this pick and roll early. We want to bring it back. Let him get downhill. I mean, he kind of launched right there, but I launched him. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hold you. Let me get another one. All right, yeah, let me let me not launch this time. Oh no, I launched again. Okay, yeah, I see you. Good, good jump. Whatever. Let's go. Let's call this pick and roll from up here this time. Now, Luca, get out the way. I'm on the wrong way, with buddy. Oh, I'm. I mean, I'm bringing him through traffic. So you see, in traffic, he might not do it. But when he got a lane, he's money. I mean, this boy is not nothing to play with. Jermaine O'Neal wasn't no slouch by no means, bro. And this game is close. Let me just try to get out of here with a little. Oh, no, I lost. It'd be like that sometimes. Get off my court. What are you doing? Whatever, bro. All right, let's see which one of these boys is actually the big dog, though, because between Luca and Jeremy Lin, I see Jeremy has more badges. Are we looking at current or hopefully that's OK? Luca has more. Luca hasn't beat by 155 points. That's crazy. Defensively, Jeremy Lin has the has the nod, but inside scoring goes to Luca. Shooting goes to Luca. Jeremy does have a higher shot IQ by 30 points. Jeremy has better athleticism. Playmaking, they're just about the same. With Jeremy Lin having a five point advantage in speed with the ball. Um, rebounding, Luca has the rebounding edge. That defensive edge from Jeremy Lin is Largo. Um, I guess we see it though. You just saw it there. Luca is the better card on paper, but I'm feeling, I'm feeling the, the jump shot, feeling the jump shot. I'm not going to lie from Jeremy Lin. I'm, I'm feeling that, but I mean, that's that either way y'all go ahead like, and subscribe and you know that's that on that take your like i said earlier be careful with that locker code if y'all want to put in that hall of fame pass locker code and try to get the uh the stuff that comes with that you know beware you may get account wiped and then 2k does have this new terms of service coming up and that may play into the, the terms of service switch they may be able to just come wipe your accounts down the line whenever they feel like it if anybody steps out of line it really does feel like I'm, I'm not gonna hold you it feels really gestapo but i can't go that far as to just diss 2k like that but it, it mean hey just be careful going forward just be really careful with what you're doing with your accounts and what kind of advantage you're taking because they're setting it up where you can't take them to court for anything and and they can do what they want with their products inside of their virtual reality so just be careful, bro. It is what it is. I'm out of here. Kobe! Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.